Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, Death Bell. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins inside an empty classroom with a short-haired student girl, nicknamed Short Hair. Suddenly a soul appears on one of the seats, staring at her with fury and rage. With pale skin and a frightening look, the angry soul becomes a ghost, and disappears like a bubble out of thin air. After the ghost's disappearance, Short Hair tries to find her anywhere in the room, but sees nothing. When the ghost and the other spirit finally show up, they immediately attack her, pulling and hurting her down in the chambers of devastation. Sweating like there's no tomorrow, Short Hair opens her eyes from a wake-up call, only to find out a thrilling nightmare. Shortly after, her dorm mates notice blood on her white sheets, signaling the fear from that dream, and the first day of her menstruation. It is the last day of midterms at Change in High School. The students briskly run to the venue, and strengthen their hearts as the test is approaching. While all the students review their notes and maximize the time for preparation, the rebellious short hair gets bothered by one of her classmates. She becomes upset with the boy, who disobeys the protocol of surrendering the phone before the examination. Short hair's little confrontation leads to the commotion with the other students, ranting about teachers being the PTA's puppet. Following this, the time has come for the students to take the midterm exams. However, student awkward feels uneasy while taking the test. As he stares each second to the ceiling, his anxiety continues, and an image of a scary face begins appearing on his test papers. Worried about the learner's behavior, teacher Gloomy immediately approaches him and discovers something horrible. A series of nail scratches are visible on the wrist, and student awkward fearfully emphasizes that someone did it to him. Every time limit, a bell would ring all over the campus to imply the end of a subject. However, instead of Beethoven's Furley's tune, a music track with funny lyrics starts ringing and disturbing the entire campus. Later on, a revelation arises when the authorities speculate the person behind the act. It was the handsome, playful student, nicknamed Student Playful, who connected his MP3 player to prank the entire school. When school time is over, short hair, together with her shy best friend, hangs their garments on the dormitory's rooftop, and shares good stories. Out of nowhere, Student Playful interrupts to invite them to a party he will be joining. Though short hair expresses her disagreement, the two ladies finally get persuaded, and plan to attend the party. The next day, an announcement intrigues everyone regarding the class standing and ranking. They become mesmerized with the news that one more day to go. The special class will commence, wherein the elites or top students will prove their capabilities further. As they gather in the hallway to see the list, student awkward abruptly notices the name changed, specifically the student at the first rank. He recognizes the face of a ghost amidst the crowd behind short hair. Because of his panic, he rushes to strangle her with all his might. As a consequence, the teachers send him to the nearest hospital, due to his uncontrollable harmful intentions. What makes everyone wonder is student awkward warns them of approaching chaos. During the party night, short hair, and the best friend who likes student playful, decide to attend the teenage celebration. Sneaking into the guard becomes their habit, for they badly wanted to make it to the party without getting caught. While this is happening, the school guard notices student awkward with a hospital gown, hiding under a bridge. Student Awkward sprints away from the place, when he sees some elements of darkness lying beside him. Blood is apparent all over Student Awkward's hands for an unknown reason. The most awaited moment in the hearts of smart students is about to happen, the special class. As they plan to proceed with the test, Teacher Gloomy notices that the first top student is missing. Meanwhile, the second top student encounters an unimaginable fate, upon going to the bathroom. A mysterious persona pulls his leg, resulting in him slipping with blood all over his head. Shortly, someone from the other room continuously pulls him towards a bathroom cubicle ceiling. As this happens, footage of the first top student in an aquarium suddenly turns up on the television monitor. Trying hard to escape, the first top student pleads for help. Without hesitation, the female English teacher asks Short Hair to go to the staff room, to let the other teachers know the impending danger. Unfortunately, the phones are cut off, which makes things more complicated. As we can surmise earlier, the male second top student who collected the phone is imprisoned by an unknown culprit in the bathroom ceiling. Concurrently, a man's voice unexpectedly speaks on the intercom, declaring a game if they want to save the student in the aquarium. The voice further states the mechanics of the game, which is to answer the puzzle for the safety of the top student. However, there is a condition wherein they are not allowed to leave the school, or else death will arise. Wanting to decipher the means of the danger, the patrol teacher goes to the public address system room to find out and fix the problem. On the contrary, the television keeps on turning on despite the system being off. 
With these occurrences, he again assumes that Student Playful was the root of all the happenings. The patrol teacher confronts and slaps Student Playful's face, forcing him to admit something. The increasing tension stops when they gradually realize that their time is up, and the bell rings. They all witness in the monitor how the aquarium gets filled with water, drowning the helpless first top student into a lifeless state. Exasperated about the dangerous episodes, the patrol teacher finally volunteers to go out of the campus, despite the unknown voice's warning. As the atmosphere resembles fears, the students attempt to flee from the dangerous school while the teachers restrain them. But before they manage to escape the place, they all see the patrol teacher surrounded with blood, dying due to disobedience to the rule. On that note, everyone freaks out, as failure to obey will welcome hell. While everyone is frightened about the events, the second top student voice enters the scene. With bandage and utmost pain, his voice enunciates logic about his own mom's sin, and that everybody must go to the auditorium to solve a puzzle. As the limited time slowly ticks, the unknown culprit tortures the second top student, by gradually pouring the melted candle wax to his face. After a few deliberations in unity, short hair and teacher gloomy get to the bottom of the question. Unfortunately, their attempt seals in vain, when the second top student's body falls from the ceiling, covered with candle wax. One thing that catches their attention is the answer written on the poor student's body. Moments later, the third top student is now missing. Due to the odd sequence, short hair realizes the pattern, and comes up with the idea that the culprit kills every student by their ranking. She is anxious that her best friend will be the next target for being the fourth student on the rank list. A few moments later, the other students, including Short Hair's best friend, plan to leave the auditorium to hide in the girls' dormitory, where they think it is safe. Meanwhile, Teacher Gloomy and the female English teacher split into two groups to distract the culprit. As the night gets darker and deeper, the students hiding in the girls' dormitory get stranded, and bombarded with harsh knocks on the door, puncturing it. Luckily, the students under the female English teacher's supervision, recognize the on and off lights from the girls' dormitory, which signals help from the stranded students. While the female English teacher's group is on their way to rescue the stranded, one of the students bravely attempts to open the door. But the culprit tugs his head out of the hole in the door, which leads to a clamor. With all the lights blinking, the other students tremble in fear, and try to escape the scary place. Amidst the disturbing chaos, Short Hair immediately looks and assures her best friend's safety. She then witnesses her best friend in one corner, seizing the moment of togetherness. Meanwhile, Teacher Gloomy and his students try to solve the question to save the third top student's life, using the cryptogram technique. Transpiring a code is never a piece of cake, yet they manage to decipher the message, warm, spring day. Remember the auditorium? When the students unfold the puzzle, a video clip shows the dead third top student and the culprit, which leads to an uproar away from the place. Time passes, everyone gets hungry after all the mishaps on campus. They all go to the cafeteria, and look for some food to eat. While eating, the answer to the last question becomes controversial. With all these alarming patterns, Short Hair suddenly remembers her brilliant classmate, nicknamed Student Smart, who died two years ago. Accordingly, she reminisces about their friendship and moments of studying together, and remembers how Student Smart used to be the first honor of the class. However, she also recollects when Student Smart experienced scholarship removal, which is believed to be the reason behind her death. Short Hair slowly assumes that her classmate's ghost haunts them, for a message that depicts justice. On the contrary, Teacher Gloomy disagrees, and completely disregards Short Hair's conspiracy theory. During this time, the culprit is busy punishing the tenth top student. Her failed attempts to attack the preceding ones, result in the pursuit of the available student. Tied in the ceiling, the tenth top student remains unconscious as the culprit presses the button. The bell rings again, signifying death is about to arrive, Upon hearing the sound of tragedy, they need to unriddle a puzzle through an anagram. Afterward, the culprit places the tenth top student in a laundry machine. Then, the students decode the message of the mystery, I know who killed me, my anger will endure. But it is now too late, as the tenth top student in the laundry machine possesses no life. Consequently, the idea of the ghost's vengeance becomes stronger. The culprit now kidnaps the fourth top student to be the next target, and this is Short Hair's best friend. To resolve the mysterious misery, the two teachers, including Short Hair and Student Playful, explore the location. There, they come up with the idea to follow the cables where the culprit can access the intercom. Not long after, Short Hair sees the disturbing ghost of Student Smart. Proceeding to the basement to track the line has never been easy, as they encounter Student Awkward. 
With insane behavior, student Awkward sees the image of a ghost in short hair's face again, and attempts to stab her aggressively. Unexpectedly, student Playful becomes a saving grace protecting short hair, and sacrificing his life. Thereby, teacher Gloomy shows no mercy, as he punches student Awkward for revenge and ends his life. The world becomes darker for short hair, after witnessing the selfless death of student Playful. In just a few seconds, the bell rings again, for another death and tragedy. The culprit hangs short hair's best friend in the basement, and spills the surroundings with gasoline. Favorably, the two teachers and short hair uncover the secret code, and locate the place filled with writings and killing equipment. Next, they temporarily save the best friend, until the culprit pulls the rope to an unreachable height and quickly releases it. With this unfortunate circumstance, short hair suffers in grief, after witnessing another demise of her defenseless best friend. Upon gazing at the culprit's face, teacher Gloomy climbs to the rooftop where the culprit is. To kill is what matters to him for all the traumatic experiences. Later on, he realizes that the culprit is student Smart's mother, who tries to avenge her daughter's death by killing several students. After several days, the whole school is filled with tears, as the parents and students mourn for those victims in the special class. While this is happening, Short Hair suddenly notices a family photo of student Smart on the rooftop. She then gets grabbed by an unknown man, implying the continuation of the disaster. A voice from an unidentified man surrounds the place, declaring that the person, who killed her daughter two years ago, must come forward or else he will set the school on fire, and will kill Short Hair. The next seconds reveal the horrifying truth. A couple of years ago, a student, who happens to be the class's top learner, got murdered. One day, student Smart discovers her teacher receiving payments from other parents, for special treatment for the test. The said cheating suddenly removes her from the top academic spot, which significantly affects her scholarship. With these anomalies of cheating, student Smart threatens to report the responsible teacher. However, teacher Gloomy strangles student Smart to death. It was student Awkward, who secretly saw the whole thing, and yet remained silent. Knowing that lying is not possible anymore, Teacher Gloomy begins losing himself as everyone knows his secret crime. Surprisingly, the guard appears and stabs the teacher multiple times, to claim the most awaited justice. It's revealed that the school guard is student Smart's father. He and his wife are the two culprits who initiated all the killings. Their intentions and act of vengeance develop, when their innocent daughter gets murdered by someone two years ago. While the revenge is ongoing, the female teacher saved short hair. The movie ends with a memory showing the happy life, and darkest episodes of Student Smart's family after the teacher's crime. From then on, Short Hair now reaches the academic top spot of the class. When she gazes into the school camera, her face suddenly depicts the soul of Student Smart. As the sound of misery rings again, we can no longer anticipate a sudden demise. As justice becomes inevitable, victims can now reside at peace from the tragic death bell. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.